Hello everyone and welcome to another walkthrough video uh, with Claudia from We're Just Two Sisters. This little journal is just so special. I was really excited to be able to share it with you. It is called Native American Pride and it is just absolutely filled with the elegance, the majesty, the magnificence, if you will, of our Native American uh, people uh, and their culture. And it's uh, made with a little brown bag, but it's just covered with um, burlap and suede and um, leather, feathers, beads, and an abundance of things that I had been collecting for a while. It also comes with this little smudging prayer and a small um, sage bundle. And so without further ado, I would like to show it to you. Um, it is uh, complete on front and back with the, with the suede that is sewn on. It is uh, bound together with a, a piece of leather here that I've attached beads to. And you can just untie this and it unwraps uh, and uh, it's not attached so you can replace it uh, if you had something that you liked better. So on the cover of this journal is this incredibly handsome, beautiful man. And I've um, included these feathers as well as this beautiful little metal leaf. It's burlap on the inside and then suede on the outside. And it is has a sewn in spine as you can see here. And I wanted to leave that exposed because I thought that it made it look very authentic and vintage. On the back is a similar photo of this elegant, beautiful lady in her regalia. And uh, I thought, you know, the story could be that, you know, this is the husband and wife. And um, and you can tell when you go through this with me that it kind of tells a story. But the beauty of these journals is that you can make up the story yourself. So let's go inside and, and check it out. So when you first open it up here, there is a front cover that is uh, covered with suede. And the suede is sewn in. In this lovely pocket, there are a couple of things. There is the Native American prayer. There is also this little folio. And the folio has this beautiful child. And then when you open it up, it has some various writing papers. It has a photograph here of a father teaching his son to hunt. Here's a postcard that's very old. And then another photograph that I thought was just a magnificent man in that picture. These all just go in their little pockets here. And then on the back, there's a, a, another, if you can see this one here actually wraps around. So it creates a pocket on the front and a pocket on the inside with yet another uh, incredible photograph. I'm always on the lookout for books in book garage sales or thrift stores or even some of the libraries have sale days where they sell their old books. And I'm always looking for ones that are pictorials that have a lot of photographs that are history. This has a little um, tassel on it and also a little charm that says, um, follow your arrow. I don't know if you can see that, but it's cute. On this side, which is the cover of the actual journal itself, it's Native American totem animals. And uh, those may look really small, but they're very readable and very clear. When you open up the journal, there is a slit pocket. The slit pocket has a variety of different things in it, all that have to do with Native American culture. There's Native American knowledge. It talks about headdress, about face paint, about symbols and description, as well as totem poles. Lots of journaling room on the back of that. 
In addition, in the slip pocket, there's a card here that is the parts of the buffalo that were used by the native people, what they used each part for, which is very cool. It, nothing went to waste, um, for sure, unlike what we have done since then. This is a cool card, which depicts a totem. Journaling space there as well. We also have a couple of photographs in here. There's this one and then this one, and then it has this lovely uh, petroglyph design up, uh, down at the bottom. The journal is um, itself is intentionally left blank so that you have a lot of pages to write in. It has some really pretty material here, which I coffee dyed myself. It just has such a nice feel to it. It's almost like suede. And, uh, and that is um, both here and here. The back cover depicts um, this kind of a story of the paddler. There's a Native American uh, paddle, uh, the symbol here, and then a, a lovely um, drawing of a paddler. And then on the back cover of the journal itself, there is this um, lovely lady here that is um, sewn on. This is a pocket that can hold um, whatever you would like to. I believe that I had the saging, um, smudging prayer in there. So we can leave that in there. Um, on this side of uh, the inside, there's a, a little pocket here that's covered with cloth. In that pocket, there's this regal gentleman it looks so wise. And then there's this covered with material that's kind of a map of, of, of a campsite or a lake. And then if you pull this out, here is the horse with the, with the war paint. And this goes right down into this little pocket. And then when you open it up yet again, you'll see that the inside um, has a pull out here um, and this one is made of some um, straw cloth. It has this uh, incredible gentleman here with the, the feathers, the peacock feathers. And when you open it up, it has, you can see that this is um, sewn on the little tab. And it has the, oh, great spirit, help me always to speak the truth quietly, to listen with an open mind when others speak, and to remember the peace that may be found in silence. And I, that is like one of the most wonderful things I think I've ever read. If everyone would just follow that, we would have just a much more peaceful world, I believe. Lovely photograph here. And you can see that this is a pocket that holds two things. And once again, this um, straw cloth folio goes into that pocket, leave the tab out a little bit so you can easily pull it. And then the war, war horse goes into that pocket and this kind of hangs out as well. On the inside here, there's a little belly band that has some petroglyphs and a, and a feather. And there is a wolf prayer, spirit of the wolf. And then this um, lovely drawing there, an illustration of the wolf. This just goes down into here. And then at the bottom here, if you pull this tab, you can see this has a little abalone fish that is hanging from the bottom on a little bulb pen has this uh, incredible uh, photograph there with the illustration of the of fishing. And inside it has two pockets. It has a straw cloth pocket and a suede pocket. In the straw cloth pocket, there's this lovely photograph with journaling space on the back and then this one as well. And this just goes up into this pocket 
it all the way up in there. And then you've got the little fish that dangles uh, down at the bottom. And then closing her up. Again, this is the back. This is the front. And it's very sturdy. It's going to last for a very long time. It is meant to be handled. It is meant to be written in. So I hope that um, you've enjoyed this walkthrough. I have to tell you, I very much enjoyed making this journal. And I hope that you enjoyed the walkthrough. So it's available on our Etsy store while it lasts. And that's www.we'rejusttwosisters.etsy.com. Dot com and that's we're just two sisters with the number two dot etsy dot com so i hope that you are inspired to make your own or i hope that you enjoyed this one as much as i did have a wonderful wonderful day and i'll talk to you soon